In this video, you'll learn how to connect your school community to Beehive so that you can start sending emails directly to community members in Beehive. Let's get straight into it. First, go to zapier.com and create a free account. And once you're logged in, click the create button on the left hand side and then click zaps. Now you'll see an option to add a trigger and event or action. A trigger is what will cause the automation to start and an action is what event will occur after the automation starts. In this example, we want the automation to begin when we get a new paid member in school and we want the action or event to create a new subscriber in Beehive. To do this, click on trigger and then search for the school app. Now click on action and search for the Beehive app. Now what we have to do is connect both our school and Beehive accounts to Zapier. First, let's start with school. After clicking on the school app, from the event drop-down menu, choose new paid member and then hit continue. Now click on sign in next to connect school. Here you'll be prompted to enter your school API key and group URL. To find your school API key, log into your school account and click on your profile picture in the top right corner. Now click on settings in communities and click on admin next to your community. Now click on plugins and edit next to the Zapier integration plugin. Here you can toggle on and off the Zapier plugin and copy your API key. Once you've copied your API key, go back to Zapier and paste in this key. Now to find your group URL, go back to school and then click on general. Here you'll see your group URL under URL. You can copy everything after the forward slash and once you paste in the group URL in Zapier, hit the continue button. Now hit continue again and you're done connecting school to Zapier. From here, you can now test the trigger to see if it's working. And if you don't have any members on school yet, you can just skip this test. Now it's time to connect Beehive to Zapier. Start off by clicking on the Beehive app and then choosing an event. From the drop-down list, choose create a subscriber and hit continue. Now click on sign in next to connect to Beehive. Similar to school, you'll be asked for an API key to connect your account. To locate this API key, Log into your Beehive account, go to Settings, Integrations, and click on New API Key if you haven't created an API key for Zapier before. Now give your API key a name like Zapier and click Create New Key and Copy. Now go back to Zapier and paste in the API key you just copied. Next hit Continue. And now in the Action tab, you'll have a ton of options you can choose from. First off, you can select the publication you want school members to be added to. This is very applicable if you have more than one publication on Beehive. Next, in the email field, we want to insert the data we retrieved from the school portion of the automation. To do this, click into the email data field and click on email. There should be a school logo next to this data. Now you have a few other options that are optional. For example, you can choose to add new school subscribers to your premium subscription tier if you offer one. You can also choose to reactivate previously unsubscribed subscribers if they enter this automation, and you can even automatically send them a welcome email once they become a paid school member. If you scroll all the way down, you'll also be able to see your publication's custom fields. If you have a custom field created for first name or last name, you can automatically insert this data in Beehive because school collects this information for you. Simply click into the data field and click on first name or last name. Once you're done, hit continue. Once again, you can choose to test the step or skip it. In this case, we're going to skip it and then hit publish. After publishing this automation, all new paid school members will automatically be added to your Beehive publication and you'll be able to email them directly in Beehive. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you might like the other automation tutorials on our YouTube channel.